Well, good morning again. It is a wild Wednesday here on Good Day Columbia, and today we're talking about conservation. Of course, every day at Riverbanks, and anytime you talk about the earth and animals, it's about conservation. But Riverbank Zoo and Garden has a very special mission, and that is not only to show the great animals, the 2,000 animals here to us when we come visit, but also make sure that the animals continue to be around with us. Scott's here uh, dealing with a lot of the, the reptiles. And what do we got in here? Well, what we have in here are a group of salamanders. And these particular salamanders are native to South Carolina, but they aren't particularly endangered. But what we're doing is we're learning how to maintain these species in captivity and breed them, mm -hmm. and we can apply that to a critically endangered species, which is the flatwood salamander, also found here in South Carolina. Right. Now, uh, rep, uh, salamanders and other types of amphibians around the world are in a precipitous decline. And uh, there's a number of reasons for that. One is, you know, we're changing the environment, we're introducing chemicals that are bad for them. There's mm -hmm. a type of fungus that's wiping them out, disease process, and global warming is hitting them pretty hard. If you look right here, lift up this piece of cork bark, and there you see two spotted salamanders. Now these animals are fossorial. That means they spend most of their time underground mm -hmm. and they breed during the winter. What do they eat? Uh, they live underground, they feed on invertebrates that live in there. Uh, the lower part of this enclosure fills up with water during the winter and the females go down there, lay eggs, and the males fertilize them and then you have a new generation. So this so is their home year-round? This Anytime is their this home year-round, it sure is. And it gets pretty cold out here, but salamanders can take that. They're not like reptiles. They actually can be quite active when their body temperature is fairly low. Can I touch them? You can. Hey, buddy. You know, Scott, you always say if it has a mouth, it'll bite, but are these guys really going to bite me today? Uh, they're not going to bite you. They do have a mouth. They can bite, but they're fairly small and have very Bloody. small teeth, so not a problem. That is awesome stuff. Thank you, Scott. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Amazing stuff. I'm not a big reptile guy, as you probably know. As long as it has legs, I'm good, but this is great stuff. We're learning about conservation efforts here at Riverbank Zoo and Garden. Guys, stick around. We're going to come right back.